I'm going to show you how to do some different functions with link. So I'm going to create a new project and this is going to be a console application to make it simple and quick. And I'm going to go all this my people, people link. All right, my people link, people link. Because I'm using link, I want to use the using statement here using system dot link. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. So control shift A. I'm going to call this my people or maybe person. I got person. And each person is a public class. Public. Make sure you add public on everything if you want to use it. I mean, public constructor. And we'll get to that one in a moment. And then I want to have the attributes. So I've got a public string name and my getter and my setter here and a public int age. And I'm going to have a getter and a setter here. And then I've got a public, let's do a string eyes for eye color and a getter and a setter here and then for the constructor i'm going to go ahead and take in the string name the int age and the string eyes and go ahead and set these so name equals lowercase name age equals lowercase age and eyes equals the lowercase eyes that I'm receiving. All right, so this is all done. Everything is public and it should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and create objects that use this person class. So inside of my main, I'm going to create my object. So create my list for doing link operations on. So I'm gonna do a list of type person called people and equals a new person list. Now I don't have my my containers, so I need my collections generic, so I've got that all good. And I'm gonna add some people to this list. So I do people add and I go ahead and do a new person. And I'm going to pass in all these variables. So I need a name, I need an age, and I need an eye color. So go ahead and put that there first and make the copies of this. And then go ahead and create my people. So I do Alice, Bob, Charles, Dave, and Eve. So Alice is going to be uh, 5, Bob is going to be 10, Charles is going to be 15, Dave is going to be 20, and Eve is going to be 25. And then Alice's eyes are going to be blue, Bob's eyes are going to be brown, Charles is going to be brown, and Dave is going to be blue, and then Eve is going to be brown. I know there are other options there, but we'll just keep it at that to keep it simple. Now, the next thing I want to do is run some link statements. So what can we do? Well, I could calculate things like the total age of everybody, right? So the total age would be int total age equals people dot. And now there's some functions they can use with link. And so you use a pinkle, uh, people dot sum. Now, the way you do it is you have to have some letter. So you're, you're basically creating a for each statement. So for each P, and then you equal greater than, and then P dot what you're doing the sum of. So age. That will get me the total age. Uh, I can do a double uh, average age and that would be people uh, average 
And uh, same thing, I pick some letter, and it could be any letter, so it could be x and equals greater than x dot age. And then that will calculate out the average age. I can also do things where I, I grab things like the first person. So I could do a, a person object. So oldest maybe equals people. And this one I am going to do the max, right? Max and then p p dot oops p p dot age and it looks like this one oh it's looking the max so maybe this would be the max age of the people. So max age. If I wanted to get the oldest person, what I could do is then figure out how do I sort them. So I want to do some kind of a descending or ascending list. And then you do an order by. So let's look at some of these where type statements you could do. So I can do a var list. And so if I want to do a list of people, so say I want to get all the people who have brown eyes. So I could say brown eyes equals people dot where. And then be P was greater than P dot eyes equals brown so that'd be all the people with brown eyes or I could say all the adults and that equals people where p equals greater than p dot age is greater than or equal to 18 or you can decide adults is 21. Either way. And then you can go ahead and do things like print things out. So if I wanted to do a console right line, I can say the total age. And I could then have a total age. Same thing with other things they can print out. I could do the average age, the max age. Oops. Max age, and then change these things right here to the variables that match. I could also have a right line where I print out each one of the people with brown eyes. So we know that um, Bob, Charles, and Eve all have brown eyes, so we can print that out. So we do a for each, and we do var x in brown eyes, and then um, inside this I get to do a console out, console right line. And I can say brown and just print out the person's name. So x dot and then name. All right, so let's go ahead and run these. So I should print out the total age, the average age, the max age, and then all the people with brown eyes. And then I'll say hello world. So I'll go ahead and run this and bring it over and you can see total age average age max age bob charles and eve all have brown eyes and then hello world so i hope this gives you a little bit more help for working with link and how to work with lists